Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a newsletter on Kajabi. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through an overview and how I use Kajabi for my own newsletter. And then after that, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the Kajabi platform. If you guys don't know what a newsletter is, it's basically an email that gets sent out to subscribers on a set schedule where you can give value to them, market your business, and increase traffic to your affiliate links. So I really like Kajabi because it makes it really easy to set up a newsletter since all you have to do is click and drag what you want onto the email. So if you're a beginner like I was, then this is gonna be a great platform to use. Essentially, all you need to do is set up a simple landing page with a signup option, and then start an email campaign that you can send and schedule to the people that have signed up for your newsletter. This system can become fully automated once you hire out things such as writers and editors, but if you're planning on going solo, it's definitely doable with just a few hours every week to maintain it. I will say that Kajabi is pretty pricey for a website hosting platform, and it costs around 120 to 300 $320 per month, depending on which plan you guys use. However, if you guys are serious about your business and you plan on selling a course, setting up a newsletter, funnels, webinars, and all that stuff, then personally, I think Kajabi is well worth the investment and it's actually very cheap if you use all the different features. What I recommend doing is start off with the basic plan and then over time upgrade. Most of you guys aren't gonna need all the features of the more expensive plans. So when you do need it, then you can easily upgrade. It's gonna be prorated, so you're not gonna lose out on any money that you've already paid. And yeah, that's just how I would do it. Yeah, so right now I host my Hustle Club newsletter on Kajabi. I build it out on this platform. I send it through this platform and it's worked really well for me. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do right now. So if you guys click on the link down below in the description, bit.ly slash Kajabi start now, it's gonna take you to this landing page. And here's where you can actually start your free trial or you can log into your account if you have already signed up for Kajabi. So I'm here in my Kajabi dashboard. What I'm gonna do is go to websites and I'm going to navigate to pages. From here, I'm gonna go to landing and here is where I'm going to actually create create a new landing page. Kajabi does give you guys some pre-made templates for landing pages. So you guys can scroll through here and see, you know, which one of these resonates with what you want to do. And yeah, once you find something, you can click on it. So let's say I want to click on this. I'll give it a title. So let's call it newsletter number one and I'll click create. From there on, it's gonna install your new template and create that new landing page. While it's doing that, let me show you guys just what my landing page currently looks like for my own newsletter, Hustle Club. So if you guys go to hustleclub.co slash sign up, it's going to take you to this page. You guys can see it's very, very simple. I literally just have two lines of text right here. I have an opt-in thing, so I'll have them put in their email address here. Then I'll have this, it says uh, join for free. And then I have an image here of an iPhone with the newsletter sort of put into it. So very simple for your call to action. I recommend having some type of landing page that's you know very simple like this, where they can just enter in their email, click a button and sign up. So of course this is a more complex page, right? But we can always delete any sections we don't want, any of these we don't want. So let's say we wanna get rid of this, delete, testimonial, delete. You guys can also hide it. You can hide the bio as well or delete it. Definitely want the call to action. So I'm gonna Delete this one, Let's see how that looks. That looks better. I'm actually gonna delete this top part too. Let's delete this triangle. Sorry guys, a lot of deleting. Cool, so this is what we have right now. You guys can just change the text right here to whatever you want, whatever font you want, whatever color you want as well. You can change this, this, and then here is going to be the call to action. And yeah, just feel free to play around with this. You guys can look up some other more specific tutorials if you want to, you know, customize this fully. But let me show you guys what the inside of mine looks like. So I'm gonna go back to landing pages. Actually, I'm gonna save this first. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So I'm gonna click on this. Here's what it looks like inside here. I just have my text right here. I have the little call to action form right here. So it goes to my Hustle Club newsletter form, which I created earlier. I have a thank you page as well. And then I of course have the button right here. So to create that form, you're gonna to want to come to marketing. I'll go to forms right here. And here is going to be that form I created. So Hustle Club newsletter, you guys can click here to create a new form. You can name it right here and it's going to create it. But let me just show you guys what the inside of mine looks like. So I have it set to single opt-in. You guys can also do a double opt-in if you want. This is actually recommended if you want the best send rates. This just means that they're going to have to confirm their subscription through email after completing the form. So it's just another step for them. But yeah, for me, I just have it set as single opt-in. It's worked pretty well for me. And then for the form fields, I just have it set to email. You guys can also collect their name too if you 
want. Um, but for me, I realized I don't really have a use for their name and I just want to make it as simple as possible to collect their email. So I only have one form field. And here's where you can do uh, additional automations, which are more advanced. And I don't have any of those set. Here you're going to be able to see your submissions. So you can currently see I have uh, 5,460 form submissions. So these are people that are subscribed to my newsletter and it's going to show you their email when they sign up and you can also remove them as well. If you come here to embed, you can actually get the embed code and change some of these settings if you want, but I didn't touch any of these. So yeah, just in case it wasn't clear, you guys are going to need a form for your newsletter. You're going to want to create a landing page, which shows that form on it. And then after that, that is when you can start building out your emails. So let me show you guys how I do that. All you have to do is go to email campaigns. You guys can see these are some previous sends that I've done. It'll show you the number of emails sent, the percentage opened, the percentage clicked, and then the percentage unsubscribed. If you click on the dot, 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 you can actually see a full report on some more things. So you guys can check that out if you want. But let's say I want to create a new email. I'm going to go up here to plus new email campaign. I'm going to select email broadcast. I'll click continue here. And now what I'm going to do is select a template that works for your newsletter. So obviously this is going to depend on, you know, what you guys are sending out. But for the sake of this video, let's say I want to use this one, share a newsletter. So I'm going to click on that. I'll click get started. Let's name this test newsletter and I'll click create. So that's going to install that template and create that new email sequence. The first thing you're going to do is uh, select who is going to receive this broadcast. So you're going to click on this. What I like to do is go to custom segment and I'll select has submitted any of these forms. And then I'm going to select the hustle club newsletter and then I'm going to click apply. After that, I'll click save and continue. And here's where we build the actual newsletter that is sent out to your mailing list. So you're going to have your internal title. This is called test newsletter for this one. This is not sent out to your audience. So this doesn't really matter. I can name it number one if this is my first email. So you'll want to carefully curate what you name the subject of your email, as well as what the preview text is. So this is just the text that appears after the subject. So both of these are very important. I'm just going to say test number one newsletter. And then this is what's in this email, sort of like a little teaser. After that, I can actually save this as a template if I want, or I can send a test email after I'm done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this so I can edit the content. It's going to take me to this page where I can actually edit all these things. So you guys can put your own logo here if you want. You guys can also you know hide that if you don't want a logo there. I'm going to delete that. Here you can change the newsletter title. So title one, let's say we want to make it big. So we're going to go here to font sizes, 96. We can center that as well. Here is where you're going to edit all this text. You guys can enter images. What I recommend doing is you don't want your images to be too big. So go to tinypng.com, upload any image you're going to use and then compress it so that you can have it as small as possible. And yeah, that's basically how you guys can edit and write your emails out. You guys can also edit in like Microsoft Word or Google Docs and then transfer that text over here if you want. And after you do that, you're going to go here to save and then you'll click back. So let's say we have the entire email created, written, proofread, all that stuff. What I recommend doing is actually save a template so that you can you know, take your previous emails or this email you've written here. And then for the next one, you can just sort of duplicate it and switch up the text. This makes it a lot faster to create your email and it gives it some more consistency. And then after that, you're going to want to send a test email to yourself. Make sure all the formatting looks okay. Make sure the subject and preview text look okay as well. And then after that, you're going to come here to save and continue. And here is where you're going to actually send the email out. So you can send it right now or you can schedule for later. So if I click on this, I can actually set a time and a date that I want it to go out at and then I'll click confirm. So if you guys are curious as to what my newsletter looks like on the inside, I'll show you guys right now. So this is one of my emails that I've sent out. This is sort of what it looks like. You guys can see it's pretty simple, very basic. I have an affiliate link. I basically have three different sections of each of these uh, newsletters. And yeah, each one is a different little mini article that I actually have written for me. I also have a book takeaway. So that's something that a lot of people like. And then at the end, I do have a call to action as well as, you know, asking them to share Hustle Club. And at the end, you know, I thank them for reading and then also have a quick call to action, asking them to share 
Hustle Club with a friend by forwarding them this email or sending them this link. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Feel free to reference it at any time. I know there are a lot of steps that I took you guys through. But yeah, overall, Kajabi is a great platform to host your newsletter. And yeah, since I wanted an all-in-one platform where I could literally do everything with my courses and online education and newsletters and everything, Kajabi was the perfect place. So I'm gonna be putting that link down below. I believe that they currently do have a free trial if you use that link. So yeah, link will be down in the description. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. If you guys want to stay updated with more of these types of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you build your business. I'll see you guys in the next video.